Hello YouTube land, how's everyone doing today? Well, I went to the barber the other day and I told him, hey, let's go and shave up all my hair because I don't want to have to come back each month since my hair grows so fast. Well, once I left the barber, went outside, it was of course like minus zero degrees out there and my head froze. So, word of advice, don't shave your head in the middle of winter time. Basically, wait until summertime. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the Sharpa SL60 AI. This is a brand new well, vacuum and this is the latest model from Shellbot. Now, you may notice this opening right there. Yes, the AI stands for Artificial Intelligence, so it has the optical avoidance with using a front-facing camera and various sensors. So with this optical avoidance, this robot vacuum can recognize shoes, socks, bathroom scales, bar stools, and also pet feces. So if your dog, your significant other, your bird, or your child leaves a nice surprise, well, this robot vacuum may be able to avoid it without making a mess. All right. So this world vacuum includes a bopping pad. Do you guys recognize this style? Let me know down in the comments. I know some of you know everything about world vacuums. So this is a very unique style and it's one manufacturer that actually uh, makes this style. All right, so you also have a tier one dust box. Yes, this guy does mop. It does have a dust box so you can vacuum and mop simultaneously. And what's unique is this guy does have wide mopping as well. So here's the water tank right here, and this dust box is removable with this button right here. Just kind of pop it up, and if you want to empty out the dirt, you just kind of lift it up from there. And when you're done, just slot everything back together. Okay, unlike more expensive models, uh, usually cheaper robot vacuums come with the remote. This guy is a mid-range robot priced around $460 with like a $140 coupon, which I'll put a link down below. But I really like this remote, just because you don't necessarily have to pair up to your smartphone. I've been getting a lot of questions about that, and usually I tell people you have to use your Wi-Fi network and pair up. But with this remote, you can basically access most of the functions with this uh, robot. For example, you can schedule, you can actually direct the robot to a different area, you have a clean button. Also, you can change the power levels, the water levels, and tell go back to home and lastly you have an edge mode very very cool feature all right so as i was testing the sl60 ai i did different challenges i had it go around my hallway to see how it can react to different obstacles it did okay uh, i did bump into it so what i suspect is it has a fairly narrow view of range you can see that the sensors are only about maybe one two and a half inches across so it has to be looking directly at an object for it to see it but once it recognized an object, it was able to go around it pretty well. All right, so this particular model actually looks pretty nice. Let me kind of show you here. You can see it has a power button slash clean button and a return to home. Also, you have the LiDAR navigation with a dome that's clickable. So low hanging furniture won't hit its head. I actually like the styling. It's a very clean look, nothing too out there, but it works well. Okay, so in the back here is kind of like a Roomba style dustbin where you push a button and it kind of swings out. So this dustbin is very large, around 600 milliliters, and there's your filter right there. And to empty it out, you actually empty uh, with this button right here, and it kind of swings out. So there's multiple buttons you push to get to different uh, parts of the dustbin. And I believe this dustbin is around 600 uh, milliliters. Okay, let's go and put it back in here. Alright, so this is the exhaust fit, and as it was running around my house, it actually had some decent airflow. And this has a nice front bumper right here. So you can see there's no like black uh, window where a lot of these robots have. It just relies on its front sensors there. Now, I noticed that there's no dedicated wall sensor for the side brush. So this particular model has a single side brush with three arms. Uh, this is kind of like bristles. I know some use a silicone style, but... Some people are on the fence, they like this style, some people like the silicone. It's up to you. I think they're both okay, but if I had to choose, I would go with the silicone style. They seem to last a little bit longer. All right, so you have, uh, what is this, three different clip sensors. So the robot vacuum doesn't take a nice trip down the stairs. You also have charging contacts. And if you remove these four screws, you can access the battery. So the battery is a 5200 milliamp hour battery, and it gives you about 200 minutes. Yes, you can get over three hours of battery life with this robot vacuum. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the extractor bar here. It's a simple extractor bar, nothing too crazy. Uh, you got your rubber fins here and you got your uh, bristles right there. 
and I don't think I can remove the ends. Yes, the ends can't get removed. So that's just something to consider. Uh, usually with this style, our hair gets wrapped around. So you just be mindful of it. You might have to keep this clean. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in here. And it should just uh, clip back in. Okay, so let's talk about the performance here. Overall, the SL60AI was a uh, pretty good for a vacuum. I really do appreciate the wide mopping pattern. That's something I have not seen on a lot of these for vacuums. Also, I appreciate the 2 one dust box. Plus, you get an extra dust box. So it's great if, let's say, you want to let this air dry or if this is filled and you want to clean it out. You can actually keep the robot vacuum going without having to wait on the dust box getting uh, dried out or whatever. Alright, so you get two mopping pads, a uh, nice set of accessories. You also get additional uh, side brush as well. And as for the docking station, nothing too crazy. One nice thing is you can wrap the cable on. So that's a nice plus. Alright, so in terms of mapping, the mapping is actually pretty good. It was able to map out my house within like 5 or 10 minutes. So unlike a lot of the competitors where it requires an entire clean run, which usually takes about anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours with my 2600 square foot home, this guy took about five to 10 minutes. Also, uh, the application itself worked pretty well. I like the five map memory, really, really easy. Uh, you just basically select on a multi map icon and basically it'll ask you if you'd like to create a new map or just choose an existing map. I think this is one of the best implementations when creating a new map. It basically uh, tells you how to create a new map. Okay, um, now some of the dislikes is I don't appreciate the very narrow view of range. Uh, it really has to be looking at an object for it to recognize. I kind of wish there was additional sensors here. So if it's going, if an object is towards the side of the robot, it will be able to avoid it. Also, it's a little loud. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many decibels, but I'm pretty sure it's above 60 decibels. So that's just something to uh, be mindful of. Don't run this robot vacuum on high at nighttime because people will definitely be awake. Maybe put on a lower setting. All right, so this robot vacuum has four different levels of suction. Also, I believe you have like three different levels of water um, and it's electronically controlled. So if you happen to leave the mopping pad on, it will shut off its water once it's done. Okay, so that's basically everything about the Shellbot SL60AI. Uh, thanks so much Shellbot for sending me out this guy. You guys are awesome. A cool little robot and I do appreciate that it's not $500. It's a little bit less than that and it has that front facing camera system. Now, a lot of these robot vacuums don't have that at this price point. So it's very nice that companies are offering more features for your money. All right, so again, I'll have a coupon down below if you're interested, it's like a $140 coupon. So you guys take care, stick around because I got some cool uh, products coming down the pipeline. Hope you guys are safe out there. Catch you later, adios.